Good morning, everybody. It's quite early in the morning for me. It's about 5.50. So I guess Apple decided not to have a keynote. But we still got a refresh on a bunch of stuff. Figured it'd be fun to go over. We got some new colors, new updates. But here's basically what changed on the Apple Store this morning. The first most noticeable thing you probably have already read about is the exclusive product red iPhone. And yeah, I gotta admit, it looks pretty cool. It's kind of a softer red. It's not a harsh red as we thought it would be. It's kind of darker. And the Apple logo is white, which I thought was different. And the front of it is white too, which I'm not a fan of. I would have really loved to see the bezels and stuff be black with the red aluminum but i i still am gonna stick with matte black i'm not switching and please don't ask me to so yeah it's just a nice color added that's pre-orders are starting on march 24th at eight o'clock pacific time so if you're interested that's when these are going up for grabs and you can only get them in 128 gigs and 256 gigs so it's exclusive just like jet black the so product red woo the next big refresh is simply called ipad not ipad air 3 nope we, we've lost the ipad air lineup entirely now this is simply just called the ipad iPad because it is a basic, very, very low starting price, standard iPad, simply called iPad. Orders also start at that same time on the 24th, this Friday at 8 o'clock, starting at a very low price of $330. Not bad. It basically just looks like a regular iPad Air. It's got sort of the same dimensions. There's no four speakers. There's no smart connector. This is literally just meant to be a budget iPad so that Apple can try to sell more of them. Available in 32 and 128 gigabyte options. No rose gold, so I guess that's like an exclusive thing. You've got the rose gold iPad. Wow, he must be a professional because his is pink. But, you know, there is a cellular option. It has a 64-bit A9 chip with an M9 processor so it's definitely not a flagship processor iPad. It doesn't have the best stuff. But you're going to be able to do split view multitasking, picture in picture. So, again, this feels like just them renaming the iPad Air 2. 8 megapixel rear facing camera, 1.2 megapixel front facing camera. Nothing that exciting, but hey, this is what's changed. I don't think it was like this before, but the iPad Mini 4 still costs $400 starting price, but you can only get it in 128 gigs now. That's it. There's no like 32 or anything. Just 128, which makes me go like, okay sure hey that's fine that's plenty of storage it's a pretty low starting price so that's what the ipad mini 4 got now the ipad also has a product red smart cover which was just released to go along with your product red iphone which apparently a lot of people will be swapping out their old iphones for well we know all the big tech youtubers are gonna buy it just so they can unbox it for you anyway but now you get a smart cover that's really really red congratulations now people were also expecting a little bit of a spec bump with the iphone se and they got exactly what we thought we would now sadly there was no problem processor improvement. There wasn't a whole new SE. All they did was bump up the storage, which before today you could buy an iPhone SE with 16 gigs or 64 gigs, which I, I, I hated. We should not have 16 gigs as an option. Now it's only available in 32 and 128. So great, a little storage bump. That's what we got. And again, you can buy that new SE with the new storage this Friday at eight. Now I'm just kind of tapping around the store here and they did add some new sport bands. We've got a couple new colors like Camellia, Pebble. Is that a knock on the Pebble smartwatch? Nice Apple. Azure. And interestingly, now you can buy the Nike sport bands on their own and they're just regular 50 bucks. You don't have to buy a Nike smartwatch to get those Nike bands. You've got all the colors now. So I think a lot of people will appreciate that. We've got some new nylon sport bands like pollen woven, red woven, orange woven, berry woven. Some more diversity for you, all 50 bucks. Some new leather buckles as well. Saddle brown, berry classic, sapphire classic. So they just got some new diversity with leather. I'm not one for leather. I like the nylon band, especially the one I have now. This is great. Even a couple new Hermes watch bands, which I always think look way too complicated and they're way overpriced and it looks like it's hard to put on, but got a couple new colors for Hermes fans. Now that is all I've seen on the Apple Store update that is going without a keynote. If there's anything I missed, I'd like to hear about it just because I'm genuinely curious, but I really hope at some point we do get an official iPad keynote and not just a website update because this really isn't that exciting. New colors, yay. Budget iPad, yay. But it's like, yeah, let's see the edge-to-edge -edge display on the new iPad. I'm ready for that. This is your Apple Sheep here and I will see you in the next one.